So there's this huge Amazon data center near Montreal, and I wanted to find out how much water it was using for cooling. So I asked, but they wouldn't tell me. Then I asked the city, and they didn't know. And that's a problem. The city couldn't give me an answer because that building in, in Varennes is not equipped with a water meter. So as I began researching a bit more, researching other data centers in Canada and around the world, what I found was that when it comes to how much water they consume, there's a lot of secrecy and there's not a lot of industry oversight, even in areas that are dealing with water shortages. For this story, we spoke with David Mayer, uh, an assistant professor at the University of Toronto, where he teaches municipal water engineering. Canadians that live in dry areas should care a lot about AI water usage. That water is needed for agriculture, it's needed for cities. Canadians that live near large freshwater bodies should care about the water usage of AI because it takes a lot of energy and carbon to treat and move our water around. We're in the midst of a very intense AI data center construction boom. Like all the big tech companies are racing against each other to build the infrastructure necessary to expand their AI offerings. So just for an example, think of the city of Phoenix. There are 60 data centers in and around the city of Phoenix. They consume something like 670 million liters of water every day. And the city of Phoenix has such a severe water shortage that there's a moratorium on new housing developments. And so you can kind of see this tension here between where the AI industry is going and the water resources that are currently available. So one of the interesting things we, we found is that in many ways, Canada is an ideal place to locate a data center. We got lots of cheap renewable energy in the form of hydroelectricity and our cooler climate means you can use outside air to cool the server rooms, meaning you need less potable water to run the cooling system. At the same time, Climate change means that outdoor temperatures are rising, water levels are going down, so it's not clear how long these ideal conditions will be in place for the tech industry. I think there's an awareness in the tech industry that their water use is becoming a serious problem. They realize, the tech industry realizes that if they don't get this right, if they don't get this right soon, opposition to their water use will ultimately be a limit to the development of the AI industry.